In this video, we're going to take a look at the glossary feature in Edin Activity. And what the glossary feature allows you to do is to create a student created uh, glossary uh, that will exist in your Moodle for as long as you'd, as you'd like it to. You can have students upload pictures to the glossary, uh, web links. Um, I've even had students uh, make a glossary entry using Photo Story and then uploaded that file to the glossary. The advantage of this over, say, a traditional textbook glossary is that A, it's, it's created by students, uh, B, it's gradable uh, as well, and also um, it's interactive. Uh, typically in a textbook glossary, it's, it's a, a statement, um, it's brief, it's, uh, it, it just kind of lives there, if you will. Um, with this version of, of glossary, uh, you can, again, utilize the resources of the web um, to teach your students something new and have them um, create the product. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn editing on. Go down to add an activity and find glossary right there. I'm going to name the glossary. In this case, I'll just call it uh, World History. Um, I can put a, a, a longer description in here, briefer description. I might call this like a unit two or something along those lines. And uh, feel free to, to use this however you like. Uh, what I typically do is I create a glossary uh, entry for, um, or a, a glossary for each unit. Um, and that's part of the assignment that we'll do for the unit, uh, depending on what it is we, we may be working on. Entries per page, this will display the, the number of entries that will be uh, shown any time a, the, the actual glossary is up. Uh, is the glossary global? This will allow it to uh, be a part of, um, of, a, of larger Moodles, if you will. Uh, we won't be using that one at this time. Glossary type, if it's a main glossary, that's the main glossary for your course. That means anything that's, that gets created will automatically become part of that glossary. Secondary glossary exists within itself. Um, it will just be for, for example, uh, if I were to select this and just have unit two terms, if you will. Uh, do you want to allow duplicate uh, entries? Uh, you can use this or not use this. Um, if, let's say, you only have so many terms, I guess, uh, per unit, um, and you you'll still want the students to to create multiple, or you want to have every, make sure every, every student has a glossary entry. You'll want to allow duplicate entries uh, so that everybody can answer, so that everybody can register an entry, if you will. Um, feel free to use that or not use that. It's it's up to you. Allow comments. This allows um, students to comment on the entry. Allow printable view. That's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if you have the glossary entries linked, what this will do is anytime the word shows up anywhere else in your Moodle, it'll link to that glossary entry, which is kind of a, a neat thing. Um, do we want to approve by default, meaning um, just to prevent some students perhaps from posting something inappropriate or creating a, an inappropriate glossary entry? Um, use that or, or, or not use that. Uh, display format, you can probably leave that to simple. Um, and these other items we're going to leave as is, except for edit always. Um, do you want to, the glossary entries to be, um, can, can they can they edit them at any time? And, and think of it this way. If you, uh, say, this school year, have your students create a glossary uh, in a unit, and then the next school year um, have your new students go in and use that glossary or edit it, you may or may not want to allow for this. Uh, you could theoretically have uh, the assignment this year could be to create it, Next year it could be either to expand on it or use it in another lesson. Uh, it's kind of a neat thing that way. Grades, as I said, these can be graded. Uh, if you want to do that, just click Use uh, Ratings. Um, students can actually rate entries. Feel free to use that if you like. Um, I've used it, the teacher entry in the past. And then you just have a standard grading scale. We'll just set this to 20. Uh, there, you can set a date range to which they can be graded as well, and you can set your groups also. I'm going to go ahead and save and return to course. And after I do that, I see my glossary. The icon is kind of a stack of books. Now, here's kind of a neat thing about this. We don't have any entries in here yet. Obviously, we just created this. Uh, but what this allows um, your students to do is to search 
the glossary entries pretty much by anything if you will you have here essentially just a, a, a straightforward alphabetical search um, uh, the date it's created or the author it's been created by um, if you're grading this assignment this is the one you want to use because it'll set up your uh, your your glossary entries uh, kind of in a roster format uh, by the student's last name so it'll make it easier for you to uh, to answer this over here uh, you may have seen you can actually import entries so if you do have something that's provided by the textbook and you want to make this into um, kind of the standard place for your students to come to actually use the glossary you can do that as well okay let's talk about categories for a second I'm gonna go ahead and click on that at this time we don't have any categories um, but if we wanted to edit categories and add one um, you could say, I'm trying to think of an example of this, let's say we were talking about um, world history and we were covering um, the themes, I guess if you will, of government, of um, warfare or something like that. I could set this up to where if an entry dealt with government or a person from uh, history that dealt with government, let's say just Mao Zedong for example, um, I could set this here add that Mao entry to this category and the students will be able to search it that way so it's another way to organize glossary entries if you will and you just type the category in um, and save changes you can link the category as well uh, with other elements of your uh, of your Moodle so there's my category and I'll just click back now this your students will do this the same way it looks here uh, even though it's in teacher mode. To add a new entry, I just click Add New Entry. Concept is definition or term. Just put a sa uh, the definition in here, so let's just say I might just put... Sample definition. Again, I can choose the category I want it to go under. Also, if I put keywords in here, students will be able to, to find it by keywords. So Mao Zedong, if I were to go with that, I might put communism, something on, along those lines. Now, um, as I said, I had students uh, do a photo story assignment for this uh, in the past. Um, if they create a, a photo story or if they create a, a, a Word document or a publisher or something like that, a PowerPoint, this is where they would upload it here. In addition to that, if I want to put a picture in, uh, sometimes with some uh, picture formats, you can simply go get the picture and copy and paste it in here. You want to be aware of copyright and, and those things as well. Um, that's probably the easiest way to do it. Um, so if you want to have students add pictures, uh, they can do that. Um, just go ahead and have them try copy and pasting the, the picture here. If it doesn't work, have them get a different one. Uh, it has to do with uh, the, the kind of picture it is. Um, so just have to play around with that till till that works. We're going to go ahead and link the entries, and I'll save my changes. And as you can see, here's the term, here's the definition. Uh, you, if you can imagine, um, you're putting web links in here, you're putting pictures in here. Uh, it's it's a really uh, kind of neat feature. And the neat thing about it is, is it will always be here in the Moodle for as long as you decide that you want it there. Um, you can hide it, open it up, so on and so forth. Later, when we talk about blocks, blocks exist over here. There's a couple of them right here. There's actually a block where you can uh, add a random glossary entry right here. And what this will do is every time a student logs in or every day, uh, it'll have a different glossary entry up, kind of a way to, uh, I guess, enrich your, your learning environment or your, your Moodle page, if you will. Okay, so this is how to uh, create a glossary.